In gravitropism, the force of gravity induces the coleoptile to transport more oxen along its lower side. The oxen causes these lower cells to elongate, forcing the coleoptile to grow upward. In phototropism, light induces the coleoptile to transport oxen toward the shaded side of the coleoptile. Oxen causes cell walls to loosen, allowing cells on the shaded side to elongate. The elongation of cells on the shaded side bends the coleoptile toward the light. Bending occurs a few millimeters from the tip. Plants grow toward light in a phenomenon known as phototropism. Experiments with blindfolds can determine the light-sensitive region. For example, if a blindfold is added to the tip of an experimental seedling, but not to a control seedling, the control seedling without a blindfold bends toward the light, while the experimental seedling does not. Other blindfolds, including clear ones, produce other results. What can you determine from this? Charles Darwin and his son Francis performed these types of experiments and determined that the tip of the coleoptile is the light-sensitive region. In blindfolding the tip, the experimenters made the seedling unresponsive to the direction of light. However, blindfolds on other regions did not produce this effect.